sort of fat reserve and then they're able to utilize that during the drier months. He is beautiful. I really want to get a decent look at him, but now he's turning away and going into the distance. And when you're a water bus, obviously you've got a nice And Belinda, she loved the fact that a water buck's nose is shaped like a heart. I think that that's quite precious, of course. Now, even though they look at slightly on the thin side, let's try and have a look at his nose. And it looks like his nose is still quite moist. Can you see that? Well, that's a very good indication when looking at animals, as if they have very dry, crusty noses. Are well, they just sitting here, contemplating what to do for the rest of the day? Or well, maybe it is a juvenile. What do you think? You see how it's... Its bill hasn't quite got as much yellow on it. I don't Very carefully. Here it is. And you know... But hopefully this drongo won't bother these two eagles because they're not doing too much. They're just happily just sitting there. Sort of strengthening between the bottom. Oh no, it's mobbing the eagles now. That's not very nice. Did you see it come through? And the drongo too much though. Still showing each other some affection. That is so lovely. We don't often get to see affection from the, from the birds and, and that's something that we're going to be seeing a lot of now is the courtship process between the various birds that are going to start building nests together and of course the same as lions, the same as humans, the grooming or sort of just touching, rubbing your fingers through somebody's hair or, you know, scratching your dog behind the ears. And we're all bonding with these various animals. And this is a way that the birds are, of course, bonding with each other. And maybe they have a nest nearby too. Don't let that drongo bother you, though. Isn't that lovely? Zongo is starting to shout again. And then we can see them on the turf.